Piers Morgan reveals he wants David Dimbleby's job in shocking question time yet burst. Piers Morgan reveals he is gunning for David Dimbleby's job after a serious shocking outburst on BBC Question Time. The former Daily Mirror editor made an exhibition of himself on BBC Question Time with constant interruptions causing host David Dimbleby to repeatedly ask him to be quiet. But, the journalist and TV host made a shocking claim which seemed to suggest he was vying for the job as Question Time host. During a discussion about Toby Young, Shadow Women and Equalities Minister Dawn Butler blasted the former university's regulator for deleting over 45,000 offensive tweets. She said, I don't know how many people are prolific tweeters in the audience, to have to delete 45,000. To which Mr. Morgan interrupted, a day's work for me. Question Time host David Dimbleby scorned Mr. Morgan, saying, Piers. Can you keep quiet while she speaks, please? Thank you. But, the journalist would not stop, she asked a question. Mr. Dimbleby said, she was asking the audience. Come on Dawn, stop this nonsense. The Labour Minister tried to talk again, so, the issue is. Before being interrupted again by Mr. Morgan, it's not nonsense. M's butler sighed and pointing to the Good Morning Britain presenter, said, I swear he thinks it's his show. Mr Morgan retorted, well, it might be one day. The audience broke out into laughter, as did M's butler. She replied, I doubt it, I doubt it. I don't think you're that skillful at your job. But not satisfied with boasting of potentially becoming the Question Time host, the opinionated former editor turned his attention to number 10. An audience member made a barbed statement at the expense of Piers Morgan, saying, What's going on in the 2020 US election? We've got Donald Trump already, next I hear the rocks getting involved. I mean Piers, you want to get involved in the UK election? The audience laughed but Mr Morgan did not flinch and instead batted this insult away saying, there was a poll on ITV this week, 57% of the British public think I should replace Theresa May. So, uh, the campaign starts tonight, it's tonight.